The PBS Masterpiece miniseries Atlantic Crossing highlights Crown Princess Martha of Norway, who lived in the United States during World War II when she worked tirelessly to keep up support for Norway among the American public and government. So much so that when she returned to Norway following the war in 1945, she received a hero's welcome and became known as Mother of the Nation. I did a video series on the life of Crown Princess Martha of Norway, and another on the truth of her relationship with the President of the United States, Franklin Roosevelt or FDR. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel to view these, and many more videos on the many fabulous fierce and feisty women in history. The mini-series Atlantic Crossing also put a spotlight on three other notable women in history that made a significant impact to not only the war effort, but who accomplished many great things in their lives. In this video, I cover the significant deeds of FDR's private secretary Missy Lehand and American ambassador Florence Harriman. And at the end I discuss the truth of the relationship of the President's wife Eleanor Roosevelt and the Crown Princess Martha. Stay to the end to get that inside information. So let's begin. First there is Marguerite Lehand, also known as Missy. In Atlantic Crossing Missy Lehand, played by British actress Lucy Russell, is introduced as FDR's private secretary, but she was so much more in real life. Author and biographer, Catherine Smith, published a well-researched book about Missy Lehand in 2016 called The Gatekeeper, in which she explains the role of Missy Lehand as follows. In everything but name, she was FDR's chief of staff. So the job title was not used by a president until Dwight Eisenhower adopted it to suit his sense of military structure. She was the only woman in American history to do so. Missy Lehand wielded enormous influence and power within FDR's administration. She advised him on policy and appointments, speeches and even his actions, both personal and political. President Roosevelt heeded her counsel, knowing it was based on common sense, honesty, sure instincts, and unshakable loyalty to him. FDR himself identified an even more significant role for her in his administration and life, saying often, Missy is my conscience. Missy was a blue-collar girl from a seedy part of Boston who never let her boss forget the people he had promised to champion. Missy was also deeply involved in policy discussions. She suggested the appointment of FDR's Attorney General, and the nomination of Supreme Court Justice Felix Frankfurt, among others. And it was Missy who, through loyalty, savvy and charm, left a lasting impact on one of the most defining pieces of legislation in U.S. history. The New Deal enacted by President Roosevelt in the United States between 1933 and 1939. There have been rumors that Missy had an intimate relationship with the President, but the author Catherine Smith believes it was primarily her excellent organizational skills, talent for managing people, plus her loyalty and dedication, that made her so important to the President. Secondly, we are introduced to American ambassador to Norway, Florence Harriman, played by British actress Suzanne Bertish. From the TV show, we know Florence Harriman is the intelligence advisor to Crown Princess Martha, and the person who organized evacuation efforts of not only the Crown Princess but Norwegian Americans and political allies while hiding in a forest from the Nazi invasion. Throughout her life Florence Harriman, often called Daisy, was an American socialite, suffragist, social reformer and organizer, as well as diplomat. In 1903, she co-founded New York City's first club, exclusively for women. 
1912, she was active in the women's suffrage movement in support of extending the vote to women, reportedly leading a parade of suffragists down Fifth Avenue. During World War I, she organized the American Red Cross Women's Motor Corps and co-founded the Committee of Mercy, which was created to help the women and children and other European non-combatants made destitute by the war. In 1920, Florence participated in the Versailles Peace Conference, and upon her return was an advocate for American participation in the League of Nations and worked on behalf of world peace organizations. In 1937, Florence was appointed as the United States Minister to Norway, where she drew upon her experience in helping refugees in World War I to successfully facilitate the evacuation of so many people from Norway to the safety of American shores. In January 1941, she officially left her position and became a vice chair of the Committee to Defend America by aiding the Allies and she also testified in the House Foreign Affairs Committee in favor of the Lend Lease Act. At age 92, U.S. President John Kennedy honored her by awarding her the first Citation of Merit for Distinguished Service. Florence Harriman died at her home in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. on August 31, 1967. Lastly, we come to Eleanor Roosevelt, the wife of President Roosevelt played by American actress Harriet Sansom Harris. Much has been written about Eleanor Roosevelt in terms of her accomplishments and contributions to the world as a humanitarian and activist. But did you know that during the course of the five years that Crown Princess Martha lived in the United States, Eleanor Roosevelt became a close friend and supporter of the Crown Princess? Eleanor willingly arranged for Crown Princess Martha to speak at the Red Cross rally in Madison Square Garden in 1943 to further her cause of garnering support for Norway and she stood directly behind the princess at the famous Look to Norway speech. She was also a friend of the country of Norway and sent a New Year's greeting via radio to Norwegian women in 1940. In a radio recording, she sent a message of hope for the future and praised the women in Norway for having met the crisis with such courage and determination. As for any jealousy regarding FDR's flirtation with Crown Princess Martha. When someone confronted Eleanor about it, she is said to have simply shrugged and said there's always a Martha. Eleanor Roosevelt was a strong woman in the White House and as a political activist. During the war, she traveled several places on behalf of the president, and after the war she became an important spokeswoman for the United Nations. Oh, and you might ask if that silly scene where Eleanor dances with Princess Martha to help her become less embarrassed is true. The answer is no. I have no idea why the showrunners and writers thought that was a good way to express their friendship. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more videos on the fabulous, fierce and feisty women in history.